Hello there everyone, Mike here, and welcome to another episode of Spiral Up. So yesterday I talked about one-pointedness. Not only that, but calm determination. And I asked you if there was something that if you dedicated your single focus attention to, what could that actually become? You know, last year I got pretty clear about what my purpose here on this world was, and it was to help. And at the time, my, I guess, mission statement, my one sentence, if I had to boil it down, it was I wanted to be the quickie mart of health. I wanted to be able to do anything and everything to make you a happier, healthier, more fulfilled individual. Well, guess what? Having that type of attention, that kind of single pointed focus, that allows you to direct everything that you do. If you truly take the time, you can direct every single thing that you do in your life. And the interesting thing is by narrowing it down to that, I've been able to say yes and no to many things. I've been mentioning Paul Check around here quite often lately. Well, here he is again. Your yes has no value until you can say no. Hmm. So what have I said no to? Well, if I would truly want to help everybody mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, I am going to have to cut out a few options. Number one, being a doctor, that ain't on my plate anymore. If I want to help as many people as I can, that's out the window because that's too focused for what I want to do. The decision to want to help as many people as I can has shifted my focus in quite a bit, quite a few different areas. Number one, I'm mainly focused on holistic health these days. Holistic health and optimizing your day. Therefore, optimized coach program, still fantastic. Um, holistic health coaching and everything, that's the route that I'm probably going to go. I'm going to go the route of fixing you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. That's the path, but I can only know that path with a single pointed focus so that I could then say no to many things and maintain that one pointed focus. So I'm going to ask you again. What is one thing that you could accomplish if you had a single pointed focus? Not only that, if you had calm determination to go with that, what is it that you could achieve? As a little bonus here, if you're having trouble knowing what your actual purpose is, that's okay. No worries. We've got you covered. If you can't think about what you love to do, start with what you don't like to do. Usually the inverse of that tells you what you'd really love to do. An example is, well, I just really don't have much time. You know what that's an indicator of? You need more time, okay? <laughs> Get some more time. You could do that with a ton of different things. If you don't know what it is or you can't get there, start with what you don't like, work it backwards. Either way, you'll end up with hopefully a single pointed focus. And if you don't, if you end up with an idea, at least you got something. Mm, yeah. Let's go there. Now, we're going to cut that one off. I want you to think about that. More importantly, I want you to do something about that. But whatever you do, seriously, feel better today while getting better for tomorrow. Have a fantastic day, everyone.